The annual Hopkinton Youth Commission Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service took place at Hopkinton Middle School. The event featured a number of activities for charitable causes and to give back to the community. Today we have cards, Valentine's cards being made for veterans. We have some bags being made for um, homeless shelters. We have some cancer care bags being made. We are added in this year a mural with the children where they decorate their hand and it will go on a mural that will be donated throughout the town. So we should have one for the library maybe to um, hang around this time of year, the town hall, um, and we hope each year that that will grow and we can add on to that. Yeah, so a lot going on, um, lots of different organizations with a church, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, um, just community members coming in to help. So, yeah, we're doing well this year. Terrific. It looks like there was a great turnout this year. There was a very good turnout this year. And I want to say maybe we can attribute some of that to we don't have snow this year. Because if anyone remembers this last year, we had a major storm the night before. Um, and we were still able to pull out a good turnout. But this year definitely showed that this weather was in our favor and community is definitely coming out to support the day today. The day was started off by a speech from Hopkinton High School graduate and co-founder of the company Jebit, Tom Coburn. My name is Tom Coburn. I moved to Hopkinton when I was two years old and I uh, went to all the schools here, including playing a bunch of basketball in this gym. Uh, so I ended up after that going off to Boston College, uh, where I thought I was going to go to become a doctor. And I guess, quick show of hands, who watches the show Shark Tank? Anyone watch that show? A lot of people. Um, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this story, but I ended up pitching a business idea with my friends in a Shark Tank style competition that our school did. Um, and long story short, we ended up winning the competition and that was seven years ago and I still run that company today. Uh, the company is called Jebit. We're a digital marketing company. We work with big brands like the NFL and the NBA. Um, and we've raised about $22 million to date. We've got 50 employees headquartered. Uh, most of the people are in Boston. So that's, uh, that's what I do for my day job with the large majority of my time. But as you also heard, I started a nonprofit, uh, or I, I co founded a nonprofit uh, with my eighth grade science teacher, Evren Gundes, who taught me in this building uh, a little bit around the corner from where we are right now. Throughout the day, scouts, members of the HHS National Honor Society and volunteers participated in a number of activities to give back to the community. We're doing a project on the Australian bushfire and the Australian bushfire is a big problem because if you look at this it's a little bad and if you sign that you can it's like it's like don't give up hope on Australia because of all the bushfires. Cool. And uh, what made you want to do this project? I wanted to do it so I can help the animals. Well, we're just making Valentine's cards for the veterans here. And cool. Just Perfect. to help them out. And yeah. what made you want to come and do this today? Um, well, you know, just wanted to be part of the community. And they really deserve to have some show some appreciation. Um, this station is based on our Silver Award project, which is about the physical and emotional benefits of a grateful heart. So right here, we have tons of different posters that you can take with um, different quotes, different mentos and stuff, and um, anyone can make a card for whoever they want. We deliver them to teachers. Uh, we have plenty of fun markers and colors for everyone. And yeah, so we're just trying to spread gratitude around Hawkington, so make everyone happier, make the world a happier place, really. So Hawkington's the start of that, and especially the school. And also, um, well, Adelaide Schuster, my friend's little sister, oh my god. <laughs> um, she passed away, but when she was alive, she worked with the respite center 
for lots of different th things, and we set up a little station down there on um, gratitude still, but it was for especially the respite center. We had lots of pictures. You could make cards. You could write down quotes that reminded you of the respite center because it's a great place there, and it's, it's really awesome. So. Yeah, so um, right now we're making coloring books for the kids at Milford Regional. So we're making covers, and then we're picking pages and tying them all together into a coloring book uh, to give to the kids who are in the hospital there. Um, I really like just like serving the community and I especially love working with kids and we've been able to do some of that um, helping you know kids color and put their books together uh, which just really brightens up my day especially on a day off. Uh, yeah so I'm a junior um, a lot of us are juniors and seniors at Hopkinton High um, in the NHS program and uh, we're coming here and we're here with Miss Williams uh, to help out today and we've donated some items to the respite center as well so Oh uh, yeah, what's going on here is uh, we're at uh, MLK Day at the middle school and uh, I'm part of Troop 1 Hopkinton and we're uh, Boy Scouts that are working to uh, create uh, little uh, gift bags full of things like uh, chapstick and nail files and things that people at the senior center will really enjoy and we're going to uh, give those out to people at the senior center so they can uh, over the winter have a little care package of uh, fun uh, activities and, and things for them to, to, to use, so self-care products and that sort of thing. Oh, well, you know, it's really, it's uh, in honor of uh, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. You know, he's a big inspiration to us all because of, you know, his selflessness and uh, his courage. So we're uh, just really looking to help out the community in ways like, like he did uh, with uh, people like, um, uh, with people like at the Senior Center, people who in need, who, uh, who, who could use some help. So that, that's our objective, you know, community service. You know, I myself am an Eagle Scout and uh, all my fellow Scouts out here are uh, doing their best to do work for the community. What are you doing here? Uh, what are you decorating these bags for? For cancer patients and just so they could feel good and get something so they know someone's caring for them and stuff. Someone's thinking about them. So today we are writing letters and drawing pictures for the local senior center, either Fairview Estates or Golden Pond, and we're just writing them to bring a little sunshine to them in the cold winter. Uh, we just wanted to give back to the community, especially because it's Martin Luther King Day, and just for fun. We're doing some arts and crafts. Uh, we have some peace signs. Um, we are doing, kind of talking about what dreams we have. Do you want to read us some of the dreams that you wrote down? So I wrote down to be a, to have world peace, to be a wrestler, and to be an NFL football player. Um, so we're, we're kind of just talking about how MLK gave this speech about how he had a dream and how we kind of have to follow our own dreams. So um, we're talking about we're doing clouds and we're just writing out what we have a dream about. And a lot of the kids have been really creative, and it's been really fun to kind of see what they've made. Um, so today we're making stress bottles. So we put glycerin and we put water and then we put some food dye in and then the kids get to pick whatever crafts they want to put in there. We have a lot of selections of glitter. We have selections of little, just little beads you can put in there and they're having a great time. After a day of hard work to give back, attendees enjoyed some pizza and watched a very good basketball game between the Hopkinton Special Olympics team and the Hillers freshmen. How did the game go today? The game went very well. It, it, we expected a tough battle and we got one. I was uh, knowing that the, the Hopkinton freshman team is undefeated, I knew we had our work cut out for us. <laughs> it went uh, right down the wire, but your team hung in there strong. We certainly did. We are learning to play a little more defense than we usually do, and today we had to. All right. Uh, it looked like you worked on a, a lot of shooting for today's game as well. That's probably the most important part of our game. As we, work on, as we try to work on other parts of the game, all they want to do is work on their shooting. And it paid off today. And how do they like playing against the freshman team? They, they seem to have playing fun. against the freshman team. One of our athletes who played today is a freshman girl who plays a very good freshman basketball, uh, or actually in the junior varsity, and she couldn't wait to play against her classmates. Terrific. Uh, anything uh, coming up for the uh, Special Olympic team? Well, we have the state games coming up in March. We have uh, community games coming up in February. 
and we have the long-awaited uh, game against the Hopkins and police in March sometime. As usual, a great turnout was on hand to give back to the community and honor one of the greatest in giving back and helping others, Martin Luther King Jr.